Hey, what's up, everybody? How you guys been? Today is the day I make the newest Joker match of charge. Of course, uh, in 2019, you had me, but now you had players like the, like Gorioka or Subaki. Even Omega is doing the is doing better. Lemon is doing better. So I feel like definitely my opinion has changed. It'll be super winning, winning even uh i didn't do minus two because i seriously believe that joker has no minus two matchups let's start all right mario this is a funny one because a lot of people might think this is one of the worst matchups or or at least think that i think that but no uh i think this is minus five i do not like a lot of people like ask me this right because i lose to mario a lot Specifically with Joker and every single time I go Joker I lose specifically Because a lot of the times I, I lose against Mario's is actually with Joker except against Snow, but whatever bad matchup simply because there's no there's sometimes That you won't even have the time to use their send simply because you will keep dying early this matchup Definitely is been getting better simply because like Yeah, like it's not that bad. You can still cam him pretty much uh zoning out blah blah dk i think some is a plus too i don't think i need to explain that much uh super bad recovery super super exploitable disadvantage state he gets comboed really hard if you start using the reverse upper uh i don't know if you guys have seen me using it but that's crazy against dk i played uh some dks in japan they got destroyed link i was saying some minus one uh, i don't have a lot of experience against link but uh I know certainly that Joker wins, but I can see Link doing good, right? Like a little baits, a little like his grab game is good. You die early, you might get edge guarded. Uh, the bomb is really annoying. A good thing about the other links is that if you predict where the bomb is going, you can reverse guard it, right? In this matchup, it only happens with Boomerang. But the links are pretty weird. Like they try to do a lot of shit with the bombs, blah blah. blah. Samus, Dark Samus, I think is minus. It's plus one. I play with CC a lot. I know this matchup pretty well. Uh, Charge Shot, if played really well, is always reactable, I feel like. A lot of the jab conversion doesn't work on Joker because he's really fast. And it's like his horror box is tight. Um, really good juggling. You can up a lot of the stuff when she's trying to land. Off stage, uh, if you read her movement with downbeat, it's always a kill. Hmm. And pretty much just like any projectile gets rebels guarded. Sometimes when you're getting Letra by Samus, you can just jump rebels guard. That would be it. Joshi. I think it's even. Never played Joshi Laura. Last time I played Joshi was a long time ago. I don't even remember. But it's hard to kill Joshi. Of course, at high percentages. But it's also hard to come with him at low percentages. A lot of the times you need to rely on reads. You don't get to play like... I've been in state until Arsenis there. Unless, again, you make like a big read. Uh, but again, um, I will probably do the zero here as I don't have also a lot of experience. Kirby, I think is minus one. Annoying as fuck. You get combo really hard. Uh, is You get Arsene, you basically die. You get down to it, you get down to it, you get down there every single time off stage. You get down B even. Uh, it's tough. A lot of the futsal stuff doesn't work on Kirby, so whatever. Fox, I think it's a minus one. I think Joker got a lot of stuff. There's the banished state is stuff. Like, Fox is really quick, right? But, I mean, when I'm playing against Light, I don't feel like Fox is beating me, you know? Like, I'm pretty sure a lot of the times, like, I beat Light. I haven't played that in a long time. Uh, but... Joker can like capitalize a lot of the stuff simply from like one grab, one F2, one tick chase, one down tilt. Simply because of how easy it is to combo Fox with Joker and also edge guarding him, right? Pikachu is one of those minus one, really hard to hit, impossible to kill, surprisingly, because a lot of the stuff he he dies for, like it's really like stupidly hard to hit. So yeah, uh you get combo pretty hard, you get edge guarded pretty hard. Uh, pretty much it's like I hit you once you might die if not you're gonna play neutral neutral is is fine I guess but you kind of make risks um but again there's no minus two I don't believe that shit with Joker it's just minus one 
Uh, I think Luigi, surprisingly enough, even though I lost to, I almost lost to Lugi. Like, you remember how I, I saw it, like, I made it look the last game, or the last two games, whatever? That's how the matchup is supposed to be. I played the matchup a lot with my training partner in law, and this matchup I know it pretty well. I, I think Joker wins easy. Yeah, that I said it. Ness, uh, even, I think it's really tough to approach Ness, really mashy game plan. Uh, I'm not of the nest against you will always be you out with projectiles. It's also really easy to edge card Joker with down smash or just up B, whatever. Um, yeah. Joker doesn't have really a lot of his stuff unless it's off stage. Captain Falcon is minus one. It's plus one. Uh, I could see minus. I could see plus two. I'm sorry. I could see plus two, but the Captain Falcon tower was surprised, you know? Like you could get a knee, you can always get down there or something. Plus two, let's do plus two. Jigglypuff is a plus it's a plus one. I still haven't gone Joker against Jiggly a single Jigglypuff because I believe Violet does better. But now that I don't play Violet, I might. Peach, uh minus 0.5 and Daisy as well. Really hard to approach. Combo game is insane. H card is insane. Super insanely hard to hit and super insanely safe. Like a lot of the stuff like like she can do is just mash on my shield and be like, oh yeah, you can punish me, that's fine. Really annoying to fight this matchup. I really want to play Mew Days because I think I've gotten better at it, but that matchup is one of the matchups I hate the most. Bowser is plus two, of course. Just watch me against Leon at a smash factor, whatever. His smash shocks are 10. Ice Slimers, I don't have a lot of experience. But I'll, I'll guess even. Fucking Ike Slimers is really <clears throat> volatile against characters that need to approach a lot. Sheik is even. A lot of people think Sheik wins. Yeah, Joker is not Sheik with our son. It's not Sheik with Asteroids. Uh, Asteroids, sorry. But uh, this match is pretty much like. It's one of those that you gotta pay your taxes, then you get our son, then you win. But it's not that easy to win, right? Because neutral starts being really hard. When their sin is out because you start scamping you, right? If the sheep is straight up just going up and try to hit you, try to combo, she will die. But if the sheep is camping, is that the matchup becomes really tough. But again, it's not impossible. I do believe Joker, like normal Joker or Sin Joker, have a lot of confirms, a lot of combos, and reads with his whatever. Uh, you can get a lot of damage and even the kill. Zelda is a minus one. I don't think Joker destroys Zelda. Uh, is good. I don't know the matchup that much, but from what I know is it's easy You just gotta like understand the stealth this game plan, which is the hard part. I like it better with Violet Dr. Mario is a plus one super different from Mario. I wonder what's the difference I also don't have a lot of experience with this one, but uh, Should be plus one definitely like gets out edge guarded really quick Pichu is another Minus one, I believe Pichu just does the same thing as Pikachu, just a little bit more annoying because it's smaller. Uh, you can see me as struggling against a lot of Pichu players and general with rats, but Pichu uh, is probably one of the matchups that I'm like fighting, at least with Joker. Because, bro, everything kills, you get edge guarded, you can combo, you can't combo Pichu, you can't hit Pichu. It's something is hard to kill. How are you gonna kill Pichu at 80? Uh huh? You get an up smash? Oh, try it. You get a force smash? Maybe, if the Pichu is stupid, you get a down smash or try to do it with like a read or a fair one. Try to get a fair one, impossible. Yeah. Falco is a plus one, maybe because of the same reason as Fox. Uh, but Falco combo game is really annoying. And a lot of the stuff is just like, boom, you just have to so quickly against Falco. Marth is a minus one. Dusina is a minus one. Uh, really basic game plan. They get edge guarded for some reason. Uh, really good combo game. They struggle to land. They even struggle to get back on stage, like I said. And pretty much it's like something's really predictable. What are they gonna do in the air? Oh, hit me! Oh, reckless guard! I get first set. Jonling is a minus one. Surprisingly, I think he's really annoying to fight. Projectiles made it really, really annoying. Um, yeah, I only play one top Jonling and. With Joker and it's painful. I should have gone Violet against Super City. Of course, plus two, same reason as Donkey Kong, Bowser, but worse. Mewtwo is plus one. Uh, gets combo really hard. 
he's really big. Imagine that the same thing happens to Mewtwo. Oh, but you're 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 fighting Joker really fine. You're probably itch guarding him. Whatever. He gets your send. Pair one up smash. Ooh, nice. At fifty percent. Roy. I think Roy is even. Uh, a lot of. There's a lot of chances Roy might kill you. You know, like I'm not even saying this because this is Roy. Because Roy does that to a lot of characters. But against Joker, there's like a lot of damage input. And on combos are like super true on Joker and put me in really bad in like really bad positions. Um, a lot of the times, like I don't know, I get a down throw, blah blah, I'm making my game, but I miss one like one like one of something. I get one there. Oh, I get sixty. Uh, I guess that's when our send comes out. But again, there's a lot of chances to die, like the whole time. Because surprisingly enough, even if you don't believe it, Joker is risky against uh, against Roy. And you know that Joker gets combo relatively easy, dies early, blah blah. Last time I lost to Cola, literally the only reason I think it was because I kept dying early. I mean, plus two. Yeah, really bad. I don't think I need to mention why. Minus one, I think Joker beats the Game Watch. Yes, I have a lot of experience against this matchup. Hopefully, I find me as soon. But yeah, I think Game Watch does kind of bad against Joker. He struggles approach. Uh, he struggles to land, up is really good, counter is really good in those situations, upper is amazing. Uh, down tool is good when our sin is out. A lot of down tool poking is like, oh, you're doing this? Just be careful with up smash, you might get hit, surprisingly. But f tilt is just so good against Game Watch. And again, approaching is really hard. And with footstool gun, uh, it's just becoming super easy to fight, like a lot of situations. Meta 9, plus 1. <sighs> this matchup is whatever, like, you you never play Meta Knight, but this matchup is basic, it's like, just don't get comboed to death and just play the game and combo Meta Knight because he's fat and whatever, and punish because he's easy to punish and whatever, and you're good. Pit, even, yeah, 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 Pit is really neutral, uh, a lot of combo game, I still have to play stack brain tournaments. But this is just really annoying. Like when you're normal Joker, it's really annoying to fight. You don't have the range to fight, like pretty much. A lot of the stuff you get whiff punished by dash stack. Grab game is amazing. I think Joker shows a lot against down B. Zero suit is a really fun topic. I played Mars a few times. A lot of them are before quarantine. And if I played Mars, I don't know if I would go Joker or Aegis. But I think Joker wins plus one, yeah, since early. If she gets you at like 130, like she's gonna struggle to kill. A lot of the times Mars has killed me like really early is simply because of tech chasings or big mistakes I make. Uh his place is also really like aggressive off stage, oppressive. I feel like other series don't do that. So at least against Mars, it's kinda annoying to fight him because like you don't get to use or send that much, but even against him, if you get a 160, I mean 130, 150 even, like it's just so tough for Super Suit. A lot of the fairs won't work. Like back here will kill, yes. Uh, just be careful with landing in her shield and don't get up out of shield. That will start killing at 120, uh, 130, 135, like anywhere on stage. So just be careful with that. Just go for the grabs. Uh, wait on shield. What's gonna happen? Arsene will be out at some point because you'll be camping. Hey, this is a lot about camping too. This match is a lot about camping. Wario is an even matchup. Um, he punishes a lot of his stuff out of shield that Joker does on his shield. Um, up B is tough to deal with, I feel like. And just playing off stage against Wario can be really deadly. Like, there's a lot of situations against Wario that can happen at 0%, 20%, literally any percent before, like, kill percent that will lead to death simply because, like, oh, I'm Wario. Snake, plus one. To, uh, <clears throat> uh, this matchup is weird because every snake has a different way to play, but I feel like when you realize their pattern, I don't know. Like, I haven't played Horde, but when I played Horde, I did just fine in Japan. If you just manage to hit a snake when the grenade, like, falls out, when, like, the grenade is right next to him, if you have the time to rose guard a grenade without taking damage, it's, whoo, 
Like, it, like it's just death, you know? You just get a grab, you back at him, he's in a bad spot, and every single time he's like, oh, if I get back here, I'm dead. Whatever. Ike is a plus one. Uh, same as Krom. He has the side B option. Not really tough to deal with. His neutral is super bad against Joker, yeah. Uh, but he can deal with Joker, you know? <laughs> but maybe I'm lying. I think he's a minus two. Uh, BT plus one. If you become good at like predicting where he's gonna switch, spoilers, it's not hard. Imagine that you're playing against an Aegis, which is in like a million times slower. Fucking Pokemon will like you have time to do everything, even if you stay on the stage when he's like doing something, you're gonna still punish. Say B, uh, B, your specials very good against PT. Uh, Squirtle is really tough to deal with, but PT is going to stay Squirtle that often. Uh, of course, because the Squirtle won't kill, and it's like even though it's tough to deal with, you get a grab, you get an off throw, and he gets 40. Like, it's tough, you know? Diddy Kong, a minus one. One of the matchups I feel is like the rats. It's really tough to deal with the neutral, but then it makes everything super hard. Uh, you cannot land with anything in front of him because you get punished by anything. Uh,. Side B is really tough to deal with. Mm, and simply is just like every single drug game, I'm pretty sure that uh thinks this way. And a lot of Diddy Kongs, I don't know if they think this way, but like it's obvious, right? How hard it is. Like I'm pretty sure you've been like you watch some bots. Mm, even though I feel like there's hope to make it 0.5. At least not the way like optimal DD right now is. There's a lot of shit. Lucas. Yeah, my plus one. He gets off stage. He gets edge guarded even though he has a tether. Really predictable neutral. Uh he gets combo tough, even though he's small. Sonic, a minus one. Um, same as these three, really tough to deal with. Uh again, something that makes really important um like the matchups is the fact that you can get Arsene camped, right? And a lot of these characters can are camp Arsene uh, because they're fast, because they're floaty, because uh, they can deal a lot of damage with one combo, because they go projectiles, good movement, uh, they can kill early. But these characters are just like the best at dealing with Arsene as well. So that's also what makes it really different. And that's uh, the important thing with Sonic. Because if Sonic wasn't good at camping Arsene, the matchup would be good. Basically, the only thing that makes Sonic hard to deal with is the, the, like the fact that he's fast. Uh, the fact that he can just like go away and camp you, whatever. Sonic takes the lead. Oh, GG's. Minus two. Bad matchup. Put him off stage. Kill him. Um, shoot the fucking corridors, bro. Just be, be easy. Minus one. <sighs> I need to watch where Ryoka play this matchup. But my opinion is minus one. Uh, side B's never work. Uh, hitting him with gun is incredibly hard. They, all the Mars is usually never like it's super safe. That's what I'm trying to say. Like they usually never risk anything. Like when trying to hit you, they jump fair. They do something on your shield is whatever. Like they never land on your shield. You know, like they're always rising aerials and like retreating back. And super annoying to deal with. Rob. Now I think it's even. I used to think it was losing. Now I think it's even. Super easy to combo. Super easy to predict. Good neutral. Good advantage state. Um, it's still rough. Again, everything I said. But it's still rough. I guess rough things the same when it's me. Predictable. Blah, blah, blah. But you get one grab. And you know what the rough is going to do. It's advantage. You know. That's what I mean with predictable. Lucario. Mm, plus one. It's deadly sometimes if you don't get the kill super early, but this advantage is tough. They get really scared and gun is your best friend in here side B I don't recommend to use it that much because at least a higher percent Imagine you have a Lucario 120 you hit him with side B now. He's at 140 if you didn't do anything you just gave him 20% and He's now 20% higher and you did nothing Toon Link I don't have a lot of experience. I'll put him at even. Mm. I can see him being annoying. He is the kind of character that like 
makes a little baits, makes a little grab games, and takes the stocks early with setups. Uh, so I can see him being really annoying at beating out Joker with a lot of stuff. I feel like he'll be kind of like Roy, but a floaty stuff. Uh, I, I compare Toon Link to Diddy Kong. I like to compare them. But I feel like the main thing that makes Diddy Kong really tough is Side B. And the way he... Like, the banana, of course. Like, it's not the same banana against Bomb, right? Wolf. Um, plus one. I think Joker beats Wolf. You just gotta be really patient. I, it's one of those matches where I prefer going ages. But Wolf is right there, right? Like... You still struggle off stage, you still struggle in neutral. But the combo game will be like in your favor, will be a lot better than his combo game. And overall, his disadvantage off stage, if he if he makes a bad recovery, it's like, oh, I go for neutral B, I jump, you're death. Villager, um, close one, you can absorb a lot of the projectiles with his guard. He gets itch guarded. Gun, like the gun, the down gun is your best friend. He literally cannot do anything if you go for down gun in disadvantage or when he is in disadvantage. Mega Man. Ooh, this is funny because now I think it's even. Joker has a lot of really good combos. Really good edge guards. Um, it's not super hard to deal with the neutral now that, that you know the matchup. Uh, a lot of people don't know, but I've been grinding online a little bit and I played with MPG and Peep Nut, so. With a trainer, um, only played one good with a trainer, Oolong. I believe this matchup is easy, like, nothing to worry about. Rosalina, I think, is a plus two, maybe. Really hard to deal with Joker, with Luma, even. Uh, everything kills, you do three backers on stage, Luma is death, everything works. Uh, up throw, like, just deals a lot of damage because of the setups you can do. Side B is amazing. God is not project out, so she cannot down B. Uh, itch guard is super easy. A lot of the up smash that will kill you, you can pretty them with Dribble's guard or the Tetra card. Disadvantage is stuck for her since she doesn't have a lot of options and she will stay in the air a lot. So you can a lot of times just up B her aerials or just up B whatever she does on the air to like get out of tumble. So you don't necessarily have to go up. Little Mac. I don't have a lot of experience. I would like to imagine it's a minus, it's a plus two. I'm gonna put in my plus one just in case I lose to a little Mac once in my life. Greninja is even really annoying to deal with. Fucking Greninja, I hate him. Uh, he's really good at whiffing Joker. He's really good at combing him. Uh, a lot of the setups works be work because I could approach uh with my stuff. So I don't shoot stuff against Joker is good. He's in the same spot. Like he kind, he kind of doesn't have any other options. Um, he actually kind of do anything if I just try to poke him with F dot. But what is Greninja gonna do? Oh, I'm just gonna jump the next time. And if Greninja stays in the air, so he's jumping like a little frog. Uh, like it's tough. The me's me brawler is a minus. It's a surprisingly even. Yeah, just really fucking annoying to do. It's like a Mario, just a little bit worse. What you say, Chad? Is Mario is Mario better than than with it, than this me? Uh, this me is probably plus one. Yeah, I don't know a lot of stuff. Uh, this me is plus one. I've been in Capitan Cito. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, Palutena is a uh, it's a plus one. I have a, a few experience against Palu. Last time I played a good Palu was uh, Rafflo. I also played Marvel on Super Smash Con. But, it, like, the matchup just feels so good, right? Like, at some point, you will have the Palus just throwing out side B randomly just to see if they try it, like, if they hit you. Which will probably never work, right? Because, one, you either know where it's gonna go, so you just don't move or something. Or you try to run guard it, right? Landing against Palu can be a little bit of stuff because of dash stack, but that's the only thing. Uh, Pac-Man, 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 Pac-Man. Plus one. I used to think it was even, but now with all the shit that all these characters can do, uh, I think Batman is just fine. Like, just don't get this, bro. Robin is a plus one. Really easy to do with his projectile game. I feel like you can always, like, Rose Guard Act Fire. The Thunder will never work because you will be always in the air. Just try to be really careful with how you land or try to punish Robin from the air. 
because he would try to anti air right? Shulk. I don't know. I feel like putting Shulk on plus one makes me want to put the pits on plus one because they kind of work the same way, but Shulk actually is harder because of shield art. If it wasn't because of shield art, the match will be free. A lot of the times I'm like, oh, you run 120. I go for fair. I go for up for up air. Oh, GG's. You have shield available. It's just death. <laughs> like death for me because I don't want to deal with it. Uh, you should try to go Byleth. I think the last time I played against uh, uh, Kome in Japan was with Byleth that I beat him. So one of the matches that I prefer going like uh, another character. Bowser Jr. is plus one. I need to play Sap off offline. I hate this matchup online, but I don't know how that will that will go. Dog Hunt is a plus two. Like everything uh, returns their projectiles. Um, a lot of their project a lot of these projectiles don't work against you. Down B gets like prohibited by Joker, obliterated. Back here is just huge against his recovery. Down here just like does a lot to you like you do down throw back there down, down throw fair he's in a really bad angle to recover ryu is probably an even i need to learn it i got the street by asimo but i'm pretty sure this match will be not that bad ken minus one minus dot five yes uh, yeah everybody agrees that matchup is harder than ryu you get anti air by everything you get come by everything you might die with everything blah blah cloud is an even matchup yeah don't let the sparkle fool you this matchup is really tough for jerk as well one interaction if you're at 60 you get edge guarded pretty well uh less trap is insanely tough against cloud and pretty much the only good thing about you is the fact that you're faster than him but not for not for too much right um i feel like the way spargo plays like really i can me i feel like he does a lot of reads and he tends to punish a lot of my habits and Every single time I'm off stage, she tries to capitalize on them, right? Uh, last time I went ages, and no, no, I make I made a few mistakes, but that's what I mean. Like he, he takes the stocks really early, and I feel like it happens like with Roy. There's a lot of chances for Cloud to make Joker make a mistake because I'm not camping. Playing Joker is actually really hard, so like. Fighting these characters, like, imagine, like, a good boy, a good cloud, will always be in your head, right? Like, Spargo's the kind of player that, like, likes to pressure and then punish that, right? So, if you give him the free punish, oh, it's free for him. He wins free. So, you get a main hard. So, like, those kind of, like, little stuff, like, those kind of little things with Joker is just really hard to deal with. I want to play Spargo a lot more because... This matchup always changes. Like sometimes I feel Cloud just destroys me, and I feel like I destroy Cloud sometimes. But again, last time we went ages, which was kind of my bad. I should have just went Joker back uh, after winning the game with ages. So yeah, Corin, I haven't played Shadi in a long time, but uh, even I think even I would like to play Shadi, of course. Um, just really tough to deal with in general. You get juggle hard, you get side B off stage every single time. Edge guard is kind of tough. Besides cloud, like this doesn't happen with kill options, it just happens with disadvantage. I feel like disadvantage with Corrin just destroys Joker. Bayonetta, I think it's a plus one. Oh, combo game is good, but that's the only thing she has pretty much. Really predict really predictable. Off stage she can't really do much. A lot of the time she can read something from her. Uh down to up air will probably never work. Down to up tilt will probably never work. Um so just just try to predict that. Because again, like if she air dodges at that time, if she's good at reacting, then there's a problem. But again, like it becomes predictable at some point that you will get the punish. I think this matchup is winning for Joker, just hard to deal with the smallness, but it's still good. Uh, Ridley, I don't go Joker against Ridley. I never played this match. Uh, Joker wins, yes, 100%. I imagine it's a little bit harder than the other heavies simply because of the range and the capacity to just deal with you, like from further away and play in and, and like a more basic game. I feel like really doesn't really rely on cheese anymore. Simon and Richter. It's a good plus too, bro. Just get them off stage and done. 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. K rule is a minus, it's a plus one. Oh, so confused. No, dyslexia. Plus one. I don't know. I think I'm joking. It's a plus two, of course. I think the only difference that Ridley has is the fact that, like, he's faster. Yes. Uh, maybe Bowser is faster on the ground, but, like, fighting wise, like, really is faster. So having to deal with the nair out of shield, having to deal with the range, having to deal with like poking down those stuff like that, uh, makes it tough. I feel like K rule focuses too much on projectiles, which is kind of like the only heavy that doesn't. Uh, also makes it really impossible to deal with Joker. Canelita, um, plus one, pretty much the same as Villager, I, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. We agree. Yeah, 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 no, super different, down B. In center or Jerky wins, uh, but he can cheese you for some reason. Um, I like it, though. I like the matchup. I love playing Sky J. Um, but sometimes it feels tough to approach. Mm. I'm just really fucking good at edge guarding in center. I feel like that, that makes a ma like, difference to this matchup. But overall, it's like tough to deal with him in neutral and a lot of the times you make one mistake you're really sexy that's incinero right he likes incinero likes fighting up close characters so that's that prana plan good same as every other projectile character hero i hate this matchup because when i get to play it i play it in japanese but the matchup is good uh kind of predictable you just have to reach past uh really easy to edge guard you can actually be quick enough to punish the zooms every single time. So, mm, good. Uh, this matchup, even though I got destroyed, I think it's a minus one. Like, I, I think it's a plus one. Almost a plus two. It's just that, like, I didn't have enough experience against Story Guri or against Bender in general. Terry is a plus one. Uh, I haven't gotten to Kazuya, but as... As of the other shadows, he doesn't really have any anti-aerials that he can do. Mostly just like the power gazer, like the the one that's really big. And one of his specials, specials. Uh, it becomes really predictable. You can edge guard him pretty quick. Uh, I feel like Tetra card and Rose guard are your best friends. Is one of those matchups. Um, try to throw him off stage and you will see that it's a really good matchup. You just have to worry about like not making stupid mistakes while making make while making it back on stage, or like giving him free punishes on like on shield, right? Um, really similar to Incineroar, actually. He likes you being on his shield, so that's why camping, camping, camping. Violet, semi is a plus one. Violet is broken. Don't forget about Violet. I'll put him on plus two. But to be honest, only Chrom and Ike deserve to be at plus two. Violet. Besides uh, Joker, I mean, the other two can actually deal with the other stuff that Joker does. Imagine my Violet against my Joker, that would be hype. This matchup, surprisingly, is a plus one. I just suck at it. Get it off stage, see what happens. I just really suck at it. This matchup is a minus five, surprisingly. I don't think this matchup is that bad. Uh, actually, Ken is even. I think I'm capping with minus dot five. Uh, this matchup is no minus one. It's just minus 0.5. Uh, really doable. Uh, there is just one time that you have to play the matchup for like two minutes. Just running away from minecart down there, back air, and again and again and again because you're getting camp whatever. But it's completely fine when you're playing on fine stages. I shouldn't have got in Town and City. Sephiroth. Plus one. Really good, uh, really good matchup for you. I don't think there's something special about this matchup. Just don't get ledge trap that often. And surprisingly enough, Sephiroth is really good at shielding Joker. So, um, try to camp as well. Again, counting these as the same. As the same as PT. Aegis. I think Aegis does good against Joker. I play... I'm a top Aegis. I'm a top Joker. I play the matchups like both sides. I really do think this matchup is even just considering how like easy it is for both of them to just destroy them. Joker's uh Joker's really good of course off stage and at comboing them, right? But Aegis is just like really good at pressuring Joker, comboing Joker and also just less trapping. I feel like like 
literally death dropping joker is gonna be one of my favorite things about this matchup i actually do prefer playing ages against joker than joker against ages even though i i feel entirely confident with joker ages uh, but this matchup can become a little bit harder if the Aegis decides to play it like Sonic, like Super Camping. But again, uh, this matchup is really volatile. Like The matchup doesn't work like that. Every single Aegis knows that Aegis is not the kind of character that just like, oh, I'm going to camp and win with, with Mithra. Like, no. Um, so, it's, it's, it's tough. My two mains. Kasuya is a plus one. Really the predictable disadvantage. Uh, wish I play riddles because I think I'm super ready. Predictable disadvantage, predictable neutral. Uh, just jump above him, see what happens. Get him off stage. I uh, remember, guys, jump to try to punish Kazuya's recoveries until he is like finishing his upbeat. Don't jump before his upbeat. Don't jump after his upbeat. Jump while he's getting to the top. When he's on the top, he's you have to jump. Hmm. I wish I got to play Reels. And Sora, plus one as well. Yeah. Uh, I haven't played this matchup uh, against Kameme, but I did it against Rakir. I really do like it. There's a lot of stuff you can do out of shield against Sora, surprisingly, because he likes to stall in the air with his aerials. Uh, projectiles are kind of annoying. They don't come out the same way as other projectiles, so you're going to really rebel score them that easily. Or it doesn't get it predictable like other characters. Floaty, so just be careful. Just try to make your combos precisely because it's a floaty, right? You know what happens with floaty, sometimes it's hard to hit them. I think this list actually looks pretty fine. I see the plus two, which are very obvious. Plus one, I don't think Joker destroys a lot of characters, for real. I think a lot of characters have the chances to go plus against Joker for like some reason. He just struggles sometimes to take the stock and he struggles a lot to make every single character follow his game plan he's the kind of character that has to make uh adjustments every single time right i guess camping joker uh camping joker exists but this doesn't work like as you would think um i remember tweak trying it and it didn't work because a lot of the characters can just like pressure you too much like your arm shield like at some point you will have to shield and be like okay i gotta interact um and i feel like a lot of these characters are like that little mac is simply because i don't want to lose to little mac and be like oh i lost a plus two match or whatever but yeah that was it let me know what you guys think in the comments i'm a little bit biased of course but remember this is my opinion the best joker opinion so you might want to believe it hopefully this stays the same and hopefully i get to play a lot of new people a lot of people that i want to play see you guys next time